One thing many of us have noticed during the pandemic is more people outside walking, running, and biking. And in one corner of our state, that led to a trashy discovery and a possible solution. Iowa News reporter Walt Buteau has our street story from the shores of Portsmouth. A couple of Aquidneck Islanders who don't know each other are working toward the same goal, crushing litter and trying to get others to do the same. And little by little, these pieces are just going to break off and get washed into the ocean. Portsmouth's Brian Patterson was taught at an early age to leave the shore. A lot of garbage, huh? Cleaner than it was. How's that? Is that okay? Yeah. Is that cool? And for several years, he's been passing that lesson. You pick up some trash? Yeah. Onto his kids. Oh, Dad, there's some junk over here. Okay, go ahead and grab it. COVID 19 tragically took away friends and relatives, including his wife's grandmother. And hopefully, she's looking down and, and proud of what we're doing. At the same time, you want to carry the bucket? It gave them more chances to scour the shore. I'm coming! It's just more opportunities to get outside, it's more opportunities to go for a walk. As you can see, though, pal, look at it. That whole idea of stopping to smell the roses, like, yeah, now we're stopping to pick up bottles. Oh, Dad, a lot of cats. About a mile away. Got a couple of these grabbers. After the pandemic shut down Jennifer Haga's gym. This one, which I've used to reach into bushes. She started taking long walks. And I was shocked and saddened by the amount of litter that I saw. Now she picks up about a bag per walk and could probably grab more if she could carry it all. And I do have those moments where I just shake my head and wonder what's going on in someone's mind that they would just toss a plastic container with a chicken breast in there just out the window. Chip bags, beer cans. We don't really have enough room. Found bottles, a tire. Rope, lobster traps, fishing line. See, people just throw this off the side of the boat and it doesn't decompose, right? So this stuff gets all tangled in all the weeds. Can cause uh, uh, animals to feel sick. Shotgun shell. I just like doing it because it's caring for the environment. You show up to a pristine beach and you appreciate it, but yet you're also leaving garbage behind. So all this plastic just gets stuck in here now. I just don't understand what gets behind someone's mind like that. I, I admit it does anger me. But anger and frustration aside, the goal for Patterson and Haga is to convince the litterers to stop and others to help, even if they didn't leave the trash behind. The garbage wasn't born here. You put it there. So if you put it there, you should be taking it back. But nobody else was cleaning it up. And if I wanted it cleaned up, I was going to have to do it myself or, you know, gather other people, which is what I'm trying to do right now. Haga has a cleanup scheduled for next week, and you're welcome to join. Also, next time you take a walk, take a bag with you and fill it up. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.